Hello everybody, I'm Mas Banker from Kaiser Power Electronics and I am back with the ultra high voltage uh, 25 electrolytic capacitors in series high voltage bank. And in case you don't remember, it's uh, this one. And uh, today we're gonna short circuit the uh, blade server uh, board by popular demand. And also, don't forget goggles and ear defenders when playing with these uh, capacitor bankings capacitor banks because they are loud and sparks are flying. So let's have some fun. One, two, three. Add short circuit between two ICs in three, two, one. So we have seen before how much havoc a little capacitor bank can do with a uh, miniature breaker like this. So uh, this is a uh, 10 ampere mini circuit breaker from a uh, regular household. Now let's see what this says to taking roughly 7 kiloampere at 12 kilovolt DC. So turning off power supply. And short circuit in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so now I have pried open the uh, mini circuit breaker. We can see that it has some black marks over here and up here. This is where the uh, break point is between uh, when the arm is uh, switched over here between the two platen uh, plates. And this is also where we can see most of the uh, suit and black wear is now. And if we take a look at the Spark arrestor, there is uh, nothing to see on this. But we can see that almost all the explosion was absorbed just by the uh, normal contact points where the, uh, the whole uh, arm assembly here switches in. So the uh, really high ESR of the 25 electrolytic capa uh, capacitors in series uh, simply does limit the short circuit current to around 7 kA, no matter what I try to short circuit it through. So I don't think it could get much higher than that. So thank you for following uh, the experiments with the uh, electrolytic capacitor bank with a whole lot of uh, old used uh, capacitors in series and I think this is experiment stops here I'm done and don't have much more to do with it but uh, one last look because I think it's just gonna get uh, discarded as uh, electronics waste so it was a whole lot of soldering but uh, I must say that the uh, voltage sharing um, resistors and uh, the um, LEDs did a terrific job at keeping the bank balanced. I didn't have any capacitors fail due to too high voltage and I have always been able to monitor the um, the charge the voltage by uh, a visible uh, light from the LEDs. But until next time, see ya!